Davis. And breaking off the top here at five, more indictments inside the troubled East Cleveland Police Department. And now there's word federal investigators are looking into wrongdoing in the city. News 5 investigator Scott Knoll first told us about calls for a federal investigation weeks ago. He's back now with the latest development. Scott. Yeah, tonight we know the Federal Bureau of Investigation has set up a hotline to collect information about potential civil rights violations and public corruption in East Cleveland. That revelation comes weeks after we talked with an East Cleveland City Councilwoman calling for the feds to get involved. All of this comes as now nine past and current East Cleveland police officers have been indicted for crimes since late August. That includes four officers criminally charged today. Two of them were first indicted last month. They're now facing additional charges and two more now added to that growing list of East Cleveland police in trouble. Today's charges sent around two police chases last spring. In both cases, investigators say the officers reported the drivers hit a police cruiser. But prosecutors say it was all a lie. In reality, they say it was Officer Kyle Wood who hit the driver's cars. They said that's when Wood and Officer Brian Stoll then assaulted the drivers, even though investigators say those drivers were not resisting police. Prosecutors say in one of the cases, after the driver attempted to record what was happening, Officer Stoll took the driver's phone and smashed it. Late this afternoon, I talked with the acting chief of East Cleveland Police. He tells me today's charges caught him off guard and said, quote, the agency does not tolerate this type of conduct from the officers, adding it is certainly not an accurate representation of my department. Those officers now on unpaid suspension. The Cuyahoga County Prosecutor's Office says these latest cases were investigated by the FBI. And as we said, the Bureau has set up a hotline. There's a number on your screen. That's where you can call and report potential civil rights violations or public corruption you may be aware of happening in East Cleveland. Reporting live, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll. And Scott, we appreciate you staying on top of this story. Thanks so much.